Watch this before getting Deep Brain AI. Today I want to give my honest review on Deep Brain AI. I want to talk about some of the pros I like, some of the cons, and also some alternatives on different pricing and what might be the best fit for you. So by the way, my name's Chris, I'm a full-time content creator. I also help other clients do cool things like this where we help create content for like small businesses and such. And I'm a normal dude, right? And some of these AI avatar tools are absolutely insane. And I think it's a great way to leverage content right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump into Deep Brain AI. This is the dashboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross compare uh, some of the videos with other platforms that are doing the exact same things. I'm gonna talk about like different pricing and talk about the different quality things that I think you need to know if you're looking to create cool videos using AI like this. So first, let's take a look at some of the examples we have made with Deep Brain AI. And again, just got back from the most incredible vacation and I can't stop thinking. Of so just take a look at these videos and let me know in the comments if you if they would pass as AI or if they're just not good enough. Let me know about it. Crystal clear beaches, amazing food and sunsets that look like something out of a postcard. So this looks okay. It does kind of have, in my personal opinion, kind of like that AI feel. This would probably turn me off a little bit, <clears throat> but you have to remember that with these AI videos, you know, the long form videos, they don't look as good as the short form vertical reels do. And it's just because, you know, like sometimes the backgrounds just don't look great. Like here's one that is a vertical reel and it just looks a little bit better in my opinion. Using AI to create videos for social media has been an absolute game changer. And so this one's decent, right? Uh, a little feedback, some tips and tricks. You know, what I try to tell people is we have better luck, you know, looking at which AI avatar that you have chosen and then try to line up a voice that like aligns with it correctly. You know, because like if you had an African woman talking in the video and had some weird like American voice, you know, like. The voice also has to like connect with the AI avatar. Hopefully that makes sense. And a lot of times that's what makes these videos look and feel kind of crappy and just like not good. So the things I like about uh, Deep Brain AI is that the pricing is actually really good. Like if we look at the pricing here for monthly, for $29 we get unlimited videos, which is saying a lot because if we look at some of the other big competitors like Synthesia, is $29 a month and you only get 10 minutes of video a month. Or like Creatify is another good one. This is another one if you pay monthly. The $39 plan, you get around 20 videos a month. So, you know, it's the Deep Brain AI is actually very properly priced, right? And especially up against HeyGen. Because HeyGen is arguably the most popular AI video generator right now for avatars. And it has the same pricing. For 29 bucks a month, you get unlimited videos. So Deep Brain AI has the best pricing. It's very competitive and it's unlimited videos and it has that going for it. Some of the videos, um, you know, some of the quality of the videos, I would say I'm on the fence with it as far as it being better than HeyGen because I feel like HeyGen and Deep Brain are the best priced tools that do exactly this. Here's a video of me cloning myself because you know, with Deep Brain AI, you can either use their AI avatars to create videos of you of whatever you want, or you can clone yourself using your videos, and it just kind of it it reads your videos and then it clones it using a script of whatever your choice is. Right? Here is a video we just did of myself. This weekend was one for the books. I went to a local food festival just to check it out ended up staying all so the video is decent right and it looks and feels just like my videos do one thing i will say though is the mouth gets a little mumbly but uh what you're gonna have to do is kind of fix this with editing right and that's what everyone is doing if you're using these avatar videos you need super fast editing change the background go with b-roll use graphics use transitions you need fast editing and that's the secret sauce to this stuff so it does a pretty good job at that and it's like it's so equal to hey Gen, you know and I have a, I just have a really hard time, you know, if we take a look at some of the HeyGen videos, they're very similar. Here's a long form video we did. Let's talk about Policy Genius, the online insurance marketplace that promises to make getting life insurance. You know, that's a boring uh, insurance video we did for a client, you know. I find that if you, when you're creating these AI avatar videos, if you use a background that is built into it. Like this is a UGC video, right? And a lot of them have like built-in backgrounds. I highly suggest just using the background they give you. Like this one here. Like this is a built-in background. 
But as soon as you start customizing the, like doing custom backgrounds, like uh, this one here, check out this. This weekend was wild. I randomly booked a- Like, doesn't this just look unnatural? Like when you use like the customized backgrounds, you almost have better luck just using the background, the UGC style backgrounds they come with. So let's have a listen to this. Just got back from the most incredible vacation and I can't stop thinking about it. See, this is a perfect example of how the voice doesn't align with the face. It just doesn't look good. But if we go into the editor here, it's really easy to just change. You just go and look at the different voices that they have to offer and they have a bunch of them. Just go through and listen and just try to line it up with the avatar. Hey there, here's how I sound. Here there, hey there, hey there. This is AI, this is an AI voice. So my honest review on uh, this tool is DeepBrain AI is really good. I'm very impressed with it. And it is probably the second best tool that I think you can make AI avatar videos for. I do think HeyGen is a little bit better. And it just, it just like, it seems like the top dog for this. Another one of these tools is actually Createify. And um, if we look at some of my AI avatar videos, I'll show you an example. Like. If, if if you use the UGC style backgrounds that Bye. they that they your first home that they come with, the videos are just so much better. Like, have a listen to this. Buying your first home can be scary, but here's how to save thousands. And again, see, like that looks pretty realistic. A lot more realistic than some of these videos over on Deep Brain, especially like this one here. This weekend was one for the books. I went to a local food festival. I mean, this might be okay if you're doing like a promotional work video in the corporate space where people are like, oh, I don't care about the quality. Like I have to watch this product, like this corporational video. Uh, it might work good. But Creatify, if you can use, you know, the UGC style backgrounds that come with it. Here's another example. This Using one's... AI to create videos for social. This one's another good one. Sorry, it auto-played. I hate that. Using AI to create videos for social media has been an absolute game changer. And again, Creatify is similar pricing. What's cool about Creatify is they actually do uh, product related content. So if you need like product related videos, it's actually really good, check this out. It made this video right here. I just put the stick of deodorant, I uploaded it and told it to put it on a waterfall. And it just, it does a really good job at that. So if you're looking to do product stuff, Creatify is the obvious answer for that. But something like Synthesia is way out of pricing. And that's the thing with a lot of these AI video generators. They quickly, quickly, grow, like they get out, like way out there on pricing and we can hardly afford it, right? NVIDIA AI is another one that's just like known to just like, it gets you, it get, it starts you in on a monthly membership or whatever, like the $39 a month. But it's like, to use this AI generative credits, you actually have to upload 50 more dollars. And like $100 later, plus your monthly subscription, it's just like, God dang, dude, they, they quickly get extremely expensive. So my number, my honest review on Deep Brain AI is that it's pretty good. I still think HeyGen is better. Like I don't want to crap on Deep Brain. Again, they do different things. Like they also have other features where you can turn articles into videos as well. Like check this out. Start your journey to becoming a. Essentially, what I did is I went and found an article on how to become a full-time content creator, and I just pasted it into their tool here, and it made this entire video a promotional video on how to do this. And it actually is pretty good. Like she just sits here using the avatar and just talks about it. Why to maintain motivation and define what a... F like this would be perfect in the corporate workspace if you're like needing stuff like this. And um, say if you had like articles that your, that your corporate company wrote and you needed them into like educational video s styles or something like that, this would be per absolutely perfect. So like this works very good. But if you're looking for like really good just content, I think HeyGen is just still the best option for the AI avatar video generation generators. And, and again, guys, I'll throw all my affiliate links to the tools I talked about in the description. So the pros, I talked about what I like. It's high quality. The cons is that some of the, some of the, like when you do different backgrounds with some of the avatars, it just looks a little fake. And I think HeyGen just feels a little bit more real. Some of the alternatives to using Deep Brain AI as well was Creatify is another one. And Synthesia is also another one. It's extremely expensive. I do find that Synthesia does have the best, um, the best quality videos. I don't, I have to log in here, but just take my word for it. It's, um, it kind of depends what kind of videos you're needing and looking for. You know what I mean? Hopefully this video helped you 
Watch this before getting Deep Brain AI. This is my honest review on Deep Brain AI. The pros, cons, and alternatives. Hit me up in the comments. I am a normal person. I live and breathe video. And yeah, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.